Jank Odo moment. Platinum. Anyway, let's talk to him. Yo, trainer. You have me. You had me counting the days on my fingers, waiting for you to come. I heard that from Falconer, Falconer, because uh, there's a legitimate name Falconer too in the Jota region. Falconer, I should say. What what you did in Sunshore? You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Yeah, let's take on Flint. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He has a wacky. He has a cool afro that's red. He dyed his hair red. Yeah, it's cool. So keep in mind that this rapid dash has sunny day and solar beam, so he covers his weaknesses. But hopefully, I can just faint this thing with one surf. That's what my plan is right now. So yeah, it's level 58, so it might take two hits. Okay, it took it one hit. Nice. That goes the rapid dash. So close to one to level 62. Infernape, okay. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll stay in as Jetta. Infernape. I have an Infernape. Mine's level 62. This is level 61, so mine's a little higher than yours. Huh. So, I'm gonna try a Surf again. I'm trying to activate that Citrus Berry. That's kind of my strategy for this whole Elite Four release to try to get the strongest Pokemon just to activate the Citrus Berry enough to where it looks like you don't have to heal it. Wait, oh look, one surf faints it. Awesome, one hit kill. So that goes in for an ape. So now, with that Jetta Grid level 62, awesome. What's he gonna send our next? Lopini, okay. I would love to switch Pokemon to um, my Inferno, my Infernape, so I can use close combat on this thing. And like totally knock it out in one hit, hopefully. If all things work out. Okay, the Wapini. Yeah, uh, it's only weakness is fighting type moves, so have a good fighting type move if you can. It'd be easiest to knock this thing out with. This thing's level 57, cool. And let's see, does it knock it out on one hit? Yes, it does. Oh, quit, quit, awesome. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, Infernape's, um, or Inferno's special defense and defense fall, but um, I'm gonna probably switch him out anyway. So I get the stats. He'll stats his stats changes should return to normal. So that's good. Drift Bloom, okay. Switch Pokemon. I'm gonna switch to Karen for this and see how much your Dark Pulse does. I don't think, uh, when I was doing my practice run for the Elite Four, I don't think I was able to uh, one hit KO this Drift Bloom with like Dark Pulse. So I'll have to see what happens because I forget. Even though I just finished my uh, practice run with the Elite Four like 30 minutes ago before this recording. <laughs> Or maybe even 20 minutes ago before this recording. Oh yeah, okay, cool. It's leaving it. It's in the, um, in the yellow health. Okay, cool. It's gonna raise up its evasionist, so it's harder to hit it now, because it's just double team. Okay, I'm gonna try for a dark pulse and hopefully it hits. Nope, it misses. Dang it. Ominous win, okay. Yeah, um. It's not very effective, man. Let's try for one more uh, Dark Pulse, and this time it hits. Awesome. That's good, that's good. That Drift Bone goes down. Karen gains a bunch of experience points. Uh, Steelix is his last Pokemon. So I'm gonna switch back to Inferno. And I'm gonna use a uh, flamethrower on this thing. I'm pretty sure I can knock this uh, steel out with a flamethrower because it's half steel type, so it's weak against its uh, fire type moves. I should say are super effective against this thing. And you probably have a lot of experience with either fighting them in the Victory Road when you're training your Pokemon for the Pokemon League, like me. I know I ran into a bunch of them. Or if you um, remember the Candleleaf City Gym, with a lot of trainers had a Steelixes, and in Byron even had a Steelix too. So. Yeah, let's go for the flamethrower. Hopefully this one hit KO is it nice. Let's see if it does though. This, this thing is level 57, so I don't know. Maybe we have to two shot this thing if we don't one shot it, of course. And it one hit sh okay, one hit KO, nice. I think the only Pokemon I didn't one hit KO in this battle was the Drift Worm. Yeah, that's kinda 
Well, we beat Flint, I guess. We defeated Elite Four. Remember Flint? He's all shocked. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't looking down on you. But I think, but I don't think for one second that it's, this is fantastic. You and your Pokemon are firing. There we go. Our prize money doubled again because good old Karen was in the battle. Nice. He's all quiet. Phew, burnt down, burnt right down to cinders. 